Hi YouTube, this is a, another little update about my quadcopter project. Um, if you remember last time I had just a very basic breadboard style controller, it just had three buttons on it. Um, I've progressed things on a bit further now using a Touch OSC for iOS, um, which just creates a little layout file for the, your iOS device. It's compatible with Android, however there's a little more a uh, little more work required to get it to Android and things like labels don't work and multi-touch XY buttons. Right, so this little remote control here I've got has a, a throttle slider, it has an arm disarm button, and then it has this button here, I don't know if you can read it, it says, uh, it says uh, start stop. Originally I didn't have this button, um, I found that sliding from zero to from zero throttle to about this point here uh, would spook the motors and you'd get inconsistent performance. So I created a start-stop button which basically just loops the Arduino up to the lowest idle speed of these motors and then anything on top of that I use the slider for. It gives us better control. Right, so I made a little heads-up display using processing um, which reads information from the Arduino uh, let's see if I can... Right, so if I arm it, you get a little arm status LED. And if I was to go primed, you get a prime status LED. I'm using the accelerometer in the device itself to do the steering. And then there's the, the throttle. I'll show you this working on the um, quadcopter itself. I have had the props on it and did a little bit of test flight, um, unfortunately it did go a bit wrong and I've lost a set of props. Uh, I can't stress enough the importance of actually testing thoroughly before trying to fly. But um, I shall just plug the motors in, go to two six. Now that full start was actually because I had my my GUI running and it was actually transmitting information straight to the Arduino which gets in the way of the ESCs priming themselves. So I've I've stopped the GUI running and I will disconnect and reconnect the Arduino. Now that's a, a better, correct arming chime. Okay, so I already have my app running here. The the GUI itself is not running. It's a little it's a little Java app, um, and then this has to communicate to a little Arduino on the on the MacBook, and I'm using the XB Wireless Shield to communicate with the the uh, quadcopter. So if I start this up. Okay, so I've got my little window. So I'll arm. You'll notice that even though I'm throttling this, this isn't doing anything. That's because I've programmed it not to do anything until it's started up. There we go. I'll give it a bit of throttle. And you'll have to listen for the steering. Any one of these two buttons will stop the motors. I also do have a programmed it that if, if it fails to receive any data for three seconds it will just take whatever values it's got and slowly decline it. The next thing I'm currently working on is this little uh, accelerometer chip, it's an ADXL345. Uh, there's plenty of open source Arduino sketches for this particular accelerometer. Um, I've got that working on a breadboard, I'm just waiting for some parts to arrive in the post and I'll mount it on, on the Arduino here and this will help keep the device stable. Um, 
As for, um, I've had a few emails from people saying they want copies of the code. Um, I'm all for sharing code. It's an open source platform. I have, you know, I've written this myself. This is a university project for my degree. Um, so the only thing I will say is, is I will be releasing the code, but after I've handed in my final piece and had the grade back for it, just to minimise the risk of my code being all over the internet and them thinking it's not me. So, um, yeah, please feel free to leave a comment in the box or email me with any questions. And uh, hopefully the next video I'll have for you will be uh, flying. Take care.